Business Exclusive. We're joined by AMC CEO Adam Aaron. Adam, okay, take your victory lap, but I need to know, are, are those numbers, do you have any updated numbers on Godzilla versus Kong? Is there anything more that you can give us on that? Well, I sure can, Liz, and first of all, hello, of course. Uh, as we know, Godzilla versus Kong is a movie about apes, and AMC has been a meme stock apes. since January, and the Reddit crowd has tracked this pretty closely. And apparently, apes are a really good omen in the world of memes, uh, meme stocks. So there we go. Maybe we were always <laughs> destined for this to be our first big movie. In fact, if you look at our opening performance from Wednesday to Sunday when uh, when Godzilla vs. Kong opened Wednesday of last week, our business at AMC was five times quintuple what we've done in all the weekends before that in Q1. And we take that as a very good sign. We think that's a combination of new movie titles coming up and vaccinations. And let us not underestimate how vaccination is changing the psyche of American consumers. Uh, you know, four million were done the other day, in a day. Uh, and people are rushing to get vaccinated. That's good news for us all. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if you saw this, but just a couple of hours ago, Dr. Fauci was telling Politico in in a podcast, quote, we may be able to go to movie theaters by the end of the year. Uh, what would you say about maskless movie going at the end of the year, maybe November, December? We might be able to what? Well, obviously, <laughs> just say? we're so excited when we can lift capacity caps, when we can uh, take masks off. But AMC is the single highest priority of our company has made sure that safely going to theaters is our single biggest priority. Uh, we put in a whole array of safety protocols advised by both the Clorox company and Harvard University's prestigious School of Public Health. Uh, so we're playing it cautious. We're keeping our 50% capacity gaps in place. We're keeping mask wearing for now. Uh, and we, we, we're gonna run our theaters this summer with the tightest safety standards we can. But think about okay. this. More than 10 million people have come to AMC theaters in the last many months. We've not heard of even one documented case of COVID-19 being transmitted in our theaters. That's very good news that our safety protocols are working, and we're going to continue them uh, throughout the summer. I want to get to Disney. Uh, Disney, of course, wants to simultaneous release uh, The Black Widow, streaming on Disney Plus and in theaters. Yes. You have to tell me where you stand on that, because the success of Godzilla versus Kong shows that just because it was released on streaming didn't hurt box office, although I, I guess that's sort of a counterfactual we would never know, um, because... It was released on streaming. I watched it on streaming. It's a mistake. I should have gone to IMAX because, you know, huh. I want to see the gigantic lizard. Don't ignore Godzilla, Adam. That annoyed me. I'm a Godzilla fan versus, you know, Kong. Godzilla girl. Tell me what the status is with the Black Widow and you at AMC. Well, going back to Reddit, I'm more a fan of apes than I am of lizards for what it's worth. But look, <laughs> uh, everybody again. has been feeling their way as to how to get through this pandemic. And you know, studios and theaters that we talk about COVID rules apply, people are experimenting, but uh, I'm not at all worried about where we are with Disney. We've been partners with Disney for decades and decades. Uh, we're gonna be partners with Disney for decades and decades to come. And if you look at what's happened with other studios we've experimented so far, uh, Universal was a big advocate for this simultaneous release uh, on the same day at home that movies hit theaters. They abandoned that concept. Warner with a big fanfare announced in December, they were gonna do it for all their movies in 2021. They found out it was not as good. They've already abandoned that concept. They've already marked that all their movies in 2022 will hit theaters for a month and a half, at least before they hit the home. I'm sure, I can't say I'm sure, we're in discussions, but I have every expectation then we'll find a happy middle ground with Disney that's good for Disney shareholders and good for AMC shareholders too. Well, what's happening today is good for AMC shareholders. Your stock is up 14.6% as we speak. Adam, thank you very much. Um, but no, I'm I'm full on Godzilla. You can be Kong. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it for people, but the lizard is my side. Cause yeah, Liz, hello. Oh, I'm great to see you. Adam Aaron of AMC.
Yeah, sure. Can I say yeah. one quick thing before we go? When I look back over this pandemic, the thing that I'm most proud of is that AMC survived. There were a lot of people who wrote our company off. We raised almost $4 billion in debt, equity, and concessions from lenders and theater landlords. And we've asked our, theater, our shareholders to approve up to another 500 million shares. Not that we'll use any amount like that anytime soon. But we're going to make sure AMC was a very successful company for 100 years. We're going to make sure that music. AMC Theaters is around and is a very successful company for the next 100 years, too. Okay, so 100 years, let's see exactly what we are dealing with. AMC is up a ridiculous amount, just a purely ridiculous amount right here. Let me see if I can get this up here. Okay, so you guys know that AMC was up 19% earlier today. It had a high of $11.25, and this was due to a B. Riley analyst turning bullish, right? That there was a great weekend for Gorilla Girls like Liz and Kong boys like AMC CEO. There's a word I want to say, but I can't. Uh, and this is one of the things that you guys have to understand is that the AMC CEO basically backtracked on everything he just had had gone on before on CNBC and was like, yeah, there's going to be 500 million shares. And then he was like, oh, I can't forget to say apes. I can't forget to say apes, number one. And then number two, I can't forget to say uh, that the 500 million shares is something that he's not planning on doing anytime soon. Right. May the 4th is the vote. So the vote is hasn't even happened yet. And then they will decide on whether or not they can execute those uh, that idea. But he just told everybody out there that he is not planning on touching that agreement at all. That's something he should have said earlier before AMC took a tumble. People probably got mad at him for that. He's really trying to get back on our good sides, telling, calling out for the apes, calling out for the memes. Honestly, it sounds like he's learned a ton. So good on you, Adam, Aaron. Uh, once again, I already covered this and analysis. Uh, and a little bit of the price action for AMC in a previous video, so go check that out. Uh, however, AMC is in a bullish position. It's 15% up on the day. It was already tracking up higher than the level of resistance that I have mapped out here, 1116. Does that mean that the resistance is now higher, or does that mean that AMC almost saw the potential to be able to break completely through and upwards to 12, or whatever next resistance that we have here? If you guys want to find out, the easiest way uh, is to, let me turn off all of these other things. The easiest way is to make sure that you have already started investing in yourself by pressing that subscribe and that notification bell, right? We are on the journey to 100,000 subscribers because I want to continue providing great analysis, great explanations, and great newsworthy reports for you guys. And so if you thought that this breakdown of whatever Adam Aaron just said, whatever that interview just was, uh, was worthy of a subscribe, I really appreciate it. And of course, pressing that like button to help sends Mr. Adam Aaron out to more Moon Platoon members. The YouTube algorithm will remember this. And for now, but not for forever, thank to those of you who make this show possible, and we will see you in the money.